Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Uh, maybe those with phones that are on, can we put them on silent or on aeroplane mode? Can we put can we put our phones on aeroplane mode or silent so that they don't disturb uh, during this press conference? Dr. Nkululeko is here and he will deliver his press statement. Thank you so much. Uh, good, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, uh, we've been asked by the president-elect uh, to deliver a statement on his behalf. Notice that I make a difference between president-elect and president-declared, uh, because we do know that uh, President Tamisa won this election. Uh, the president is working with uh, uh, and has appointed a very strong legal team. Most of you will know that, to uh, make sure that uh, the declared result, not the result of the election, the declared numbers which are intended to manipulate the will of the people are dealt with. Uh, look, uh, President Chamis have won this election um, and he's at the moment busy uh, working with different structures uh, in the party and outside the party to make sure that uh, we are able to protect the vote, uh, that uh, the people of Zimbabwe can get the president they elected. We are not seeking, as many would say, to uh, the president is not seeking to overturn the election. The fact of the matter is that we, we have a simple task of overturning the declaration by Chigumbo. The, the people were were decisive uh, in, uh, in in this election. Um, 
in addition to that, the president uh, is very concerned about the continued state-led political violence in the country. President Jamisa is particularly concerned uh, about the disruption of all MDC Alliance events, including press, uh, press conferences. Uh, the, he is concerned about the arbitrary arrests and in intimidation of party members, uh, the leadership, uh, and checks that is gravely concerning. Uh, he thinks that these are becoming far too systematic uh, violations of human rights. Uh, the president is concerned that the ongoing victimization of Zimbabweans by uh, people purporting to be part of the military um, is, is uh, getting to levels of impunity. The midnight raids in various residential areas must stop forthwith. There is no place for this kind of behavior in our time and in our country. The continued threats of death and violence to, of anyone who exercises their freedoms of speech and association is concerning. Uh, the dangerous narrative that the state could kill people for simply demonstrating uh, must be dropped immediately. Uh, no one has a right to kill anyone or deny any person rights that are confirmed by constitution and are inalienable. Reports uh, of attacks on elderly members of society that are parents of uh, uh, party leaders or activists should uh, uh, concern everyone and the president is seriously concerned about this. Uh, uh, following the callous and uncalled for cold blood murder of Zimbabweans by people supporting to be the military last week, it is now clear that there, is a high, there are high and dangerous levels of a sense of impunity by sections of the uh, military and or security forces and that the president is concerned about this sense of impunity and uh, being untouchable. The fundamental freedoms, human rights um, of the people of Zimbabwe to participate in the affairs of this country without the interference of armed people uh, are enshrined in our constitution and in international um, conventions and instruments that Zimbabwe uh, has ratified and is part of. This cannot therefore be suspended after this election on the simple guise that the declared result um, uh, should not be challenged at all. It seems as though the uh, purpose of the current crackdown in the country is simply to make sure that uh, the result is announced by ZEC cannot be challenged or should not be challenged. People are being denied the right to even dream about challenging the result. And I think that, and the president thinks that that should not be allowed to set in. So the president, uh, the president elect, President Chamisa, uh, is encouraging everyone to make sure that uh, our rights are. Uh, regardless of the circumstances, are respected and that no one is killed for them. And that there should be no more threats of, uh, of murder, as we've seen in the last few days in different spheres of the, of the, of the media, uh, including social media, where the, there seems to be a narrative that says, well, uh, if you demonstrate you are or if you question the results, you're calling for the murder of members of the, of the MDC or anybody who supports the opposition. That position is untrue, is, 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 is incorrect, both uh, legally, socially, morally, and politically. Uh, people should uh, have their rights regardless of whether or not we've just finished the election. Uh, that's our statement. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I think I'll take a few questions, if there are any. Thank you. My name is Jeffrey Moyo, I'm a reporter with the New York Times. May I please know when the, uh, the MTC alliance is going to court with uh, the challenging the election result, the presidential result. Okay, thank you. Listen. <coughs> okay, yes. Thank you.
Thank you. Uh, the, to start with your question, the, uh, the President has put a team together uh, that's dealing with that, and he will uh, uh, issue a statement with details tomorrow about when this is going to be done. Uh, with regards to the numbers and the names, certainly we can provide you with the names of those that have been uh, arrested and have been reported as such. We have a large number of uh, people who, have, who are not accounted for, either by ourselves or by, by the police. So we, we cannot give you names of those who have disappeared because uh, uh, they're just unaccounted for and we're still hoping that they will reappear. We know that there are some people who have gone into hiding um, and we cannot publish their, their names at all because then we are increasing the, uh, the, 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 the risk. Uh, but yes, those who are arrested will provide, uh, will provide the list. Uh, um, uh, in fact, uh, we, yeah, we, we, we can be able to provide that almost immediately. Uh, thank you. Are you getting any help or support from anyone outside of Zimbabwe? Because we've seen South Africa has recognised the president-elect and a number of other countries appear to have recognised what they're seeing as the legitimacy of this election, leaving you in a very difficult position. Uh, as the president has said, I think that if there's any recognition, it's a recognition of uh, the declared result. Uh, and uh, uh, if you look at the data, that uh, that uh, Zach released today, uh, uh, of uh, starting Sunday, uh, just by looking at the data itself, we find out that there are glaring, there is glaring evidence within it. The data is incoherent. The data uh, shows that certain numbers for the presidency, for example, were inflated, and uh, in certain constituencies, numbers were deflated. And it is very clear that the inflation was on the other side than the deflation um, on our side. Um, if you look at the data as well, you can clearly see what areas and what places they were doing this, uh, where they thought they, thought they, could, uh, they could succeed. And, and, uh, and, and obviously, if somebody hasn't seen that, they are, they are likely to think that um, uh, the, 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 the result is, the declaration is correct. But uh, uh, it's a gift that keeps giving. The data that came from Zach uh, doesn't need anything else. It disproves. Uh, its authenticity and proves uh, uh, makes our, our our point a lot better. So I think that that is the case in terms of um, uh, getting help. Look, uh, uh, the president talks to everyone. The president engages everyone who wants to see this country move forward. Um, and and we are aware that uh, in terms of international relations, they have to be such in windows about recognition and so forth. But when the rubber hits the road, when you actually get to do the stuff of making decisions you uh, realize that uh, I think people will take a lot of, will, will give a lot of attention to the actual numbers, to the figures. And, and numbers, mathematics speaks a lot better than anything else. What do you think of the prospects okay. of your success as a legal action? Uh, may we allow the proper process to record? I'll take questions Top, from you. Top money, uh, Slime Media. How many constituencies are in dispute which um, have um, numbers we do not tally with what you have and what Zek has, according to your data analysis so far? I couldn't give you the exact number of constituencies. I can tell you that um, uh, we have tallied, uh, looked at the consistencies within the data that Zach gave, uh, and uh, we are left with just one province uh, to kind of tease out and see where the holes are at. Um, uh, so it's in every province, but the specific areas where things are worse than elsewhere. The areas where they are deflating numbers, reducing numbers, and areas where they are increasing numbers. So. Uh, it, it looks good. It's a lot of work to look at um, uh, all the uh, over 4 million votes and, and try to account for them. But uh, clearly it's a lot better now that Zach has actually provided the data they used to give the effect result. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. My name is Osai Amviringi, an independent media practitioner. My question is about the V11 forms. We have heard before that it, uh, at Zach's uh, presentation of results they had invited all political parties to present those V11 forms for verification before results were announced. But the position that we got as media is that um, MDC Alliance could not re release those for verification on time. And I'm not sure what, may, what caused those delays and until now, why are they not yet delivered so that we may pass this dispute as a nation and move forward. Thank you. So. <coughs> You were suggesting that the MDC should provide the V11 forms to Zach. 
Yes, I had an invitation by uh, Justice Chigumba when she was just about to finish announcing the results that she is obliged by law to have representatives of presidential candidates present the V11 forms for verification at the verification center. And we were hoping that all political parties would oblige and move on with the process. The original so there's no way that she would want those those from us in fact in fact the opposition didn't have 21 percent of those because she refused to give them to hand them over so it, there's, there's no way we can give her those. okay okay my question is there, there there was a need for your own copies that's verification we could Thank not rely much. on theirs they needed yours so that you verify to avoid disputes after the announcement of the results sir that is the, that, that, that is incoherent to be, to, to, at best. The fact, if she said that, she's very incoherent. The fact is this, the, the, she has the forms, the V11 forms, and she's got to take information from them to put them up. And what we have to do is to provide an agent who then says, yes, that came out of the V11 form that we also have seen, that we can, uh, we can corroborate. We don't have to give her any V11 forms. <coughs> I don't know where that's coming from, but it's it's strange if she said that. Sorry, All so right. you just uh, definitively make a decision on whether to launch a legal challenge against Gagwa's election as president. Has that decision been made yet? Will that be announced tomorrow? Uh, that, that, that decision has been made and, will, and, and its details will be announced tomorrow. Thank you. Okay. Yes, I just want to know how do you fancy your chances of, uh, of winning this one, even if you take the legal route? Do you think you are really going to be successful? Oh, we are just trying to be heroes of tomorrow's history that probably they tried. That's the first question. The second question is, uh, did you have agents at all the polling stations in, in the country? Uh, Thank you for your question. Uh, President Nelson Chamisa does not seek to be a hero. He loves this country uh, and has worked very hard. Uh, the, he, has, he said, uh, that he has a basket of approaches that he will take to get the uh, 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 declaration reversed uh, so that we go to the actual, uh, to announcing the actual result. And that legal action is just but one of them. I already said at the beginning of this press conference that um, uh, President Chamisa is consulting widely in terms of what actions, uh, all the actions he needs to take. He's consulting on the legal route, he's consulting on other possible routes. There are a number of things that will be will be done. But certainly, President Nelson Chamisa does not seek to be a hero. He just cares about this country far too much to be concerned about heroism. And did you have polling agents at all the polling stations? We had polling agents uh, uh, at, at uh, polling stations that, at, at, a, at a rate that we could um, uh, 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 we could, we could uh, logistically do. Look, some we had we had uh, six polling agents uh, uh, calling at the <coughs> polling station simply because Zach had moved to one of its polling stations uh, and couldn't find it. Uh, so obviously, wherever that polling station was moved, you find you found yourself without um, without polling polling agents. But if if I get your point, let me just let me just answer the underlying underlying question. The, the underlying question is whether or not we were able to collect sufficient data to be able to make the verification. Uh, and yes, we were able to do that. So for the 21% that Zach refused to give us, refused, Zach refused to give V11 forms to uh, about 21% of our agents, uh, uh, literally. But even if you put that aside, okay, even if you put that aside and look at the trajectory where we are at with the 79%, we, were cle we, are clearly, we clearly won that election. Even if you had... Um, uh, if, even if you had given 100% of the 21% uh, of, the, of, the, of the polling station to the other side, the trajectory was such that we were going to win. And you could do a lot of clever mathematics and have three scenarios. A scenario in which we give Mnangagwa all the 21% as I intended to, and you get a different number in which we're winning. A second scenario in which you use the 2013 rates uh, of voting and how people with attitudes towards voting, and you get a different number, and that still gives you a win for President Chamisa. You get, then get a, a smaller but comfortable win in a, in a scenario where you have uh, uh, President Mnanga uh, uh, um, taking 100% of the votes in those polling stations where our agents were not able to collect B11 votes. And I think I've done justice to that question.
Thank so, you but so you much. you didn't answer whether you thought you were going to succeed if you took the legal route. Look, I think I answered that question. Yeah, the answer but I, is, I didn't hear it. Okay, the answer is just this. We have not put all our eggs in one basket. The, the president said the legal route is just but one of those things that he's going to do. So whether, whether, whether that succeeds or not depends on all the other things that he's doing. Yeah, but it does, that doesn't answer whether you think you've the, got the, any the, prospect the of, courts, of success. The, co the courts in this country, President Chambers has said repeatedly, uh, there is a general understanding that the courts in this country are captured. Okay? And as a result of that, it, it, it will be naive to a certain extent to put a lot of, a, a lot of weight in the courts. Although, in this case, the evidence is far too glaring for any body who wants to live beyond the next few months and be credible to deny that uh, this election was not won uh, by, by, by uh, uh, the president declared. Thank you very much. So, excuse me if I'm going to ask the question that you've already answered. Okay. If the court challenge does not succeed, is there a way forward for Mr. Chavez's approach to proceed? You're right, sir. I've already answered the question. I said that the president has a basket of issues, of, of approaches he's going to take in terms of making sure that. Uh, our, the, the election is not uh, does not remain stolen in terms of making sure that we reclaim uh, the people's victory. So, whether or not it is going to be the election petition, the election challenge that works, or all the other methods combined or separately, uh, uh, we will get to see. But if you are asking a question about the, elec the, the election challenge itself, I think that let's not do ourselves a, dis a disfavor here and ask too many questions around that. The lawyers are going to be here tomorrow and you could ask them as many questions as you like. They're collecting evidence today and finalizing and finalizing their work. So, in fact, they've collected it. They're just putting it all together. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is the end of our press conference. God bless you.
vasa kone ku ramba machita ayo wakati pe ima results chayo chayo sakat eh, president wano rangarara kutizo zwa zwe fizo haka konesa kutitiendere mberi ninyaya ya kutuaka kutinika ino yite mtunga mire haka saru zuba nevanu kote mtunga mire haka ngunga zuba neze ase wache mise wani confidence yu ni matari ya munu matari haba eh wano shua ninyaya ya mbwa polisi the NBC Alliance is the first spokesperson. Oh, shall I do this one? The NBC Alliance says it is going to carry out. What do you call Kumwe wangu 